revolutionary crane in Australia. It could lift 50 tons, and four of them could reach into every corner of a twin tower. And once they had assembled three floors, an amazing thing happened. The bottom of the crane released, then slid up three stories and locked back into place. And then the whole crane jumped itself up to the next level. That's why it was called the kangaroo crane. They were fast. They had some defects, so um, they spread a lot of oil around, so it was a constant cleanup operation after them and so forth. But um, they were fast and, and quite reliable. With the help of the prefabricated sections and the jumping kangaroo cranes, the Twin Towers took shape rapidly. The builders managed to finish up to two floors every week. In 1970, World Trade Tower 1 became the tallest building in the world. And while even more floors appeared at the top, tenants moved in at the bottom. On the Burj Dubai, the kangaroo crane is still the crane of choice. Here the builders have taken prefabrication to a new level. The key to speed is a new technology called jump forming. The process starts at the bottom of the building. Steel workers assemble steel cages that will become the backbone for the floors and walls of the Burj Dubai. The kangaroo cranes hoist the steel cages up and slot them into special molds called jump forms. In goes the concrete, and 12 hours later when the concrete hardens, the form gets ready for the jump. Hydraulic pistons push the form up, leaving the concrete block behind. It takes only two hours for the form to move up to the next level, where the process starts all over again. This way, the Burj Dubai is cast in place, layer by layer, like a giant wedding cake. A glass wall would allow a lot of light into the building, but also solar radiation. This would be absorbed by the objects inside. These in turn would radiate heat into the surrounding air and warm it up. And as the sealed glass windows couldn't let the hot air escape, things would get uncomfortable very quickly. You would basically be in an oven in the summer, so you need to have artificial cooling Outside pane is coated with a thin layer of metal. Like sunscreen, the metal coating deflects ultraviolet radiation that would otherwise heat up the building. But the sunscreen is useless against the infrared that radiates from the hot desert sand. So the inner pane is coated with a thin layer of silver that keeps the heat rate.